Okay, we are now doing experiment two. I have already prepared my test tubes for experiment two. And this experiment has 15 milliliter of crystal violet plus 10 ml of water. The same concentration as experiment one, even though it's diluted, it's the same dilution factor. For sodium hydroxide, now we have 10 ml of sodium hydroxide plus 15 milliliters of water. So we have a different concentration of hydroxide. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's the same procedure. This time I want to make sure my timer starts correctly. And I'm going to take my beaker out and dry up the bottom of it. Set it down. This is your reaction beaker. And take your crystal violet test tube. Dry the outside and pour it into the reaction beaker. So this is my crystal violet. And now I'm going to do the same with sodium hydroxide. Dry the outside of test tube. And this is where you have to, you have essentially like maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds to do this. And then uh, you need to start recording. So as soon as you pour the content of sodium hydroxide, you just want to start your timer. This is the beginning of reaction. So now I'm going to just swirl the contents for maybe 15 seconds or so. My timer is already starting. Now I have my cuvette here. You want to condition your cuvette a couple times with that solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So once pour it into your waste beaker a second time. I did two conditioning, but that's fine. So make sure that the outside is dry. No fingerprints. Insert it into spectrophotometer. And this is now your I'm approaching one minute time, which is fine. So let's go ahead and catch that. So at one minute, I have 0.851. So let's go ahead and record it. Record the data in your notebook every 15 seconds, just like before. So you're coming up to 1 minute 15.826. So I'm just going to let you record it, and I'm going to record mine too. I'm not going to call the number. You see the timer on the screen. So 1 minute 30 seconds, 0 0.803. So I'm going to let you do this. We're doing the experiment together. And we're going to do this for six minutes.
Okay, we did our six minutes run. So I'm going to take out my cuvette and I'm going to measure using, this time you can see my temperature of the cuvette better. I'm going to use my uh, thermocouple device to measure the temperature. So there it is. I think I'm going to see if I can show it to you. So I insert it and might be hard for you to see. I'm not sure if you can see the readout, but it's 19. Okay, you can see it. So this is a very fast measuring device. So we're looking at 20.0. So let's go ahead and record that for our temperature. Now, since I am changing my measuring device, you want to uh, make sure that, well, I do have the measurement. So let's go ahead and show you where, where that data is. So experiment two, room temperature is 20.0. And let's go ahead and use the same temperature for experiment one also. Both of these are at room temperature, so the temperature is pretty constant. So we can go ahead and assume the same temperature, 20.0 for both experiments. So from now on, I'm gonna use my thermocouple because it's quicker and you can see the readout so I'm going to just have you record it once you see it on the screen. So at this point, all the data you can just record from the screen, which is essentially the temperature data, the timer, and the absorbance. Okay, so I'm going to cut the video now, and then we'll do the next one.